Hey guys, welcome back to part three of my how-to series. Um, I've done my foundation, color correction, my eyebrows, and now we're going to jump into contouring. I've had a lot of people ask me, they're like, I just can't get my contour right. It doesn't look natural. Um, just all kinds of different things. So I wanted to do like a little um, video kind of explaining what contouring is and give you little tips and tricks on what to do to um, make your contour work for you. So I have a few different products here that I use for contouring. Two high-end and one drugstore. I have my Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer, which I usually use this on my forehead to warm up my face. And then I have this MAC Single Eyeshadow in the shade Omega. Um, this retails for $15 um, because it is an eyeshadow. And that's not too pricey, but of course that's not in everyone's budget to spend on a contour powder. Um, and the reason why I like this one the most for contouring is because it is a really shadowy brown. It's an ashy brown color and it creates a shadow on your face. So you can use bronzer in any color that you want to, but if you're actually wanting to contour and recede certain areas of your face, then you'll want something that has a little bit more of a cool tone to it. Um, the last one is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, this is a really good bronzer and it's been around for a while. A lot of people use it. Um, it does come with a little brush, which is like a small um, flat top, a small like little kabuki brush. And um, I use that in my freelance kit because it does really well for contouring. So um, the brush that I always use to contour is this Sigma Small Contour FO5 brush. I've had this for a long time because Carly Bible used it in one of her contouring routines back in the day and I've had it ever since. So another good brush would be this Real Techniques. I don't know if the name is on this. Yes, the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush is one that I used to use. Um, it is a little bit fatter than this one, but you can pinch it down to make sure that you can really get into the areas that you want. So um, for this video, I will go ahead and use my Wet n Wild um, Ticket to Brazil bronzer just so you guys, if you want to try it out, um, you can go ahead and just run to the drugstore and pick one of these up. And I will be using the Sigma FO5 just because that's what I always use. Um, they do carry real techniques at Walmart, Ulta, and um, even some drugstores carry the real technique brushes. And they're really good brushes for the money. Let me just kind of explain a little bit what contouring is and then how contouring and highlighting go hand in hand. Um, I mentioned in my foundation routine, which was part one, um, how highlighting, there are two different meanings to highlighting I guess because you've seen the strobing trend which is using a powder or um, liquid highlight on the high points of your face to really bring out those areas um, but then highlighting to me when I um, relate it to contouring is using a concealer that's one or two shades lighter than your skin just so you can kind of bring forward the um, different features of your face like I use it on my chin um, my cupid's bow underneath my eyes and a little bit on my forehead just so that it kind of blends together and I'm going to contour my cheekbones which as you can see my face is flat I really love how contouring can give that illusion that my cheeks are more defined it's also going to make your face look slimmer because right, my face is pretty round I have a round head if my head were to get chopped off of my neck it would roll off because it's so round um, I've always joked and said that because my face is really round. So when I contour, it kind of gives me a more slim face and a slim look. And there are so many different face shapes. There's round, oval, heart, square. Like you'll want to contour different areas. I just kind of do a basic contour because I want to make my face look slimmer and give the appearance that I have defined cheekbones. But if you really want to make areas of your face look smaller, then you'll want to um, contour different parts of your face. And I have several different little guides of, um, you know, different ways to contour each face shape, um, where you want to put the um, highlighter and then where you want to put the bronzer and contour powder to recede and accentuate those areas. So I picked up the Stila um, Contour Duo in the shade Light um, during my little Sephora haul. And um, I'm not going to use that today, I'm going to use the powder, but um, I really love how that blends out. And it, when you use a cream contour color, it looks a lot more natural. Like you can use a darker foundation or a darker concealer, um, like a foundation stick that's a darker shade, just because it blends out and it looks a lot more natural. It looks like your skin since it's liquid. But um, I am going to use a powder today. This is the guide for your different face shapes. So okay, I will try to find this little guide online and I will put a link to it down below so that you can find out what your face shape is and where you need to apply the product. So 
I will find a link for that or some chart anywhere so that you guys can have it down below. But now we're just going to go ahead and jump into the contouring tutorial. So the same rule for contouring applies to anything when you're beginner makeup is you want to start with a light amount of product on the brush because once it's put down, you can wipe it off, but it's so much easier to just build the color as you go. So I'm going to do one side of my face so you can kind of see the difference of what contouring is actually going to do. So um, one little trick, and I will zoom you in a little bit, but I'm going to start on my cheekbones and I'm going to make the fish face like this so that I can see where the line of my cheekbone would be if it were defined. Also another rule is you are supposed to start at the top of your ear and angle it down toward your mouth. Not all the way to your mouth because that'd be like a super dramatic contour, but just so you know the line of where you should place the product. So I got a little bit of product on my brush. You probably can't see it in the camera. And I'm going to take that and start applying that shade onto my face. Okay, so now we're going to take the same brush and the same bronzer and start working that onto the forehead, which I usually use a larger Sonia Kashuk, um, like, it's this brush, it's super dense, it's the number 130. I usually use that to apply it to my forehead just because I'm really trying to warm up my face. I would like to make sure that everything is seamless. So I wouldn't want my cheeks to be contoured and my forehead be butt white. I just like to make sure that everything is the same color. I'll also take it down on my temple a little bit just because that's also going to bring in that side of my face. And then I will go ahead and contour one side of my nose. And there's really nothing on this brush. Well, I'll go ahead and do both sides because it's not going to look right. And then I do the tip, which I, if you watch my tutorials, you know that I always add a little bit of blush to my nose just because it adds a little bit more color to my face. And I like the way it looks. So um, as you can see, um, I now have, it looks like I have a cheekbone. It looks like my cheeks are full and my face recedes right here and it just makes me look more slim. So you can see that. And then you look on this side of my face and it's highlighted right here, but it's something is missing. I'm gonna go on this side using our same brush and our same fish face rule fish face rule to make sure that everything is placed properly and you just want to make sure that you blend it out you can't apply, you can't lay down color without going back with nothing on the brush and making sure that everything is blended out so if you've been having problems with making your contour look natural um, you might want to try blending it just a little bit more And then you can put a little bit on your jawline, but you definitely want to make sure that's blended because you don't want a harsh line on your face and make it look like your makeup is, does not match your neck. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with a little bit more on my larger Sonia Kashuk brush just to warm my face even more, especially when I highlight as much as I do. I want my face to match my body without being so tan. I'm going to go ahead and go with my blush. I'm going to use the shade Bellissimo Bronze from Milani. It's one of their bank blush, which I love. And I'm also going to take that on my Sonia Kashuk number 24, a little brush, blush brush, and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I always go back in with my beauty blender just to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines anywhere. Okay, and then to make my nose appear slimmer, I'm going to apply a little bit of a highlight. I'm going to put that on my finger. It's the shade Mary Luminizer. It's a really pretty champagne color, but it's light. So I'm going to apply that on the bridge of my nose, my finger, because this is going to bring attention to the center of my nose, but then since I've contoured the sides, it's going to make it look thinner. Using my feather stroke brush that I use for highlighting, I'm going to take a little bit of that same highlight and apply that on the high points of my cheekbones. And I'm 
I'm going to put a little bit onto my chin to bring that, that um, area of my face out a little bit more. And then a little bit above my eyebrow to give me a nice glow. And also it's um, bring out that part of the face. So that is my contour routine. And that's the super simple version. Um, if you want a more intense contour, of course you can apply more product or going with a cream product or anything like that. But this is just the basics of how to contour. Just so if you're beginning, and that's what I get a lot of questions about, people are like, I just can't get my contour right. This should just help you a little bit to kind of know why you're putting these colors where. You want to receive the areas of your face that um, you don't want to draw attention to. And then you want to highlight and bring out these areas of your face. So it gives your face a slimmer effect. And contouring is, real, is a really nice trick um, in the makeup world and it can really transform your face so here is my short little mini version and then we'll just stay tuned for part four which is my wing liner so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video